Okay, hi, the Dyson V6 uh, battery. I've already opened the battery. It's not very complicated. There are two screws uh, to take off from the Dyson itself. And then you have another small screw here on the top somewhere here, here on this side. And then um, just a few clips you should use a flat screwdriver of course do it always be careful and make sure that the batteries are almost uh, discharged because you don't want to short and then you have this protection from the contact on both sides and you can take them off also and the next thing of course will be to take a picture how it is built because not to to be wrong with the polarity although it's very common that you go from the plus which is the red and then this is the plus tab and then you have the minus and from there minus to plus and it's go all over till you get the minus on the other side so the better is of course to take a picture not to make any mistake but it's a uh, pretty common and then you have when you're taking it off this tiny a uh, tiny plug that i accidentally pull it uh, out without taking it off uh, easily but it looks okay so i think it did not break so i'm okay with this and now I have to remove these tabs with flat screwdriver and then of course solder the new cells. I can show you that the cells are discharged so we have 3.4 so anyway even if I do a short nothing of course will happen. It's not very nice to, to do a short by the way the cells are not balanced which all, also uh, shows that it's a good time to replace the cells and also the problem is that I did it because on the maximum uh, on the maximum level it was not doing very well and it stopped immediately so probably this is the reason and uh, that's all so now I will uh, look how it is yeah just tiny connection between the cells maybe I will renew this I'm not sure yet but first thing of course to take everything out because this is not the original and this is the copy cell so it look like it will be much easier to pull this uh, push and replace the cells because I can see that it is pretty free and the plastic it's not the original maybe the, the circuit here is the original but not the plastic so it looks like it will be perfectly okay so i will start now okay so you can see i have started already disassemble this wire here and i think that it is better to cut them because i don't want to short when i'm disconnecting the positive side here so i will later see how i Connect. This is just the balancing wires. I think it will be okay. I will manage maybe a... Uh, I don't know how. We'll see. So wh what I'm starting is at the minus side because here when you put a flat screwdriver you can't short this part. So I'm just using a screwdriver and it is off. But on the positive side it's a different story. And I don't want to short anything. So, uh, you see it is already off. Uh, or maybe now we'll try very carefully not to short here. I need to be very careful when putting the screwdriver from the top. Uh, I know that the cells are almost totally discharged so maybe I can take with the plier it's not a very good but ah you see part of it is okay and now on the other side 
this is disconnected and this is disconnected so these two cells are already disconnected by the way I took a picture instead of writing the polarity and everything one picture is better than 1000 words okay so here what I'm going to do is to use again this plier and cut ah you see I did a short this is exactly what you want to avoid anyway these cells are dis almost discharged so you see that nothing nothing significantly happened but this is why you have to make sure that the cell are discharged when you're doing it and now I like to, to disconnect because again I don't want any shorts so these are the cells I don't know which they are but it is written 2000 I'm not sure they're Chinese probably I will later check them and this cells is already out so you can see maybe I will use its tab or do something very similar to this one because the tab looks okay uh, for connecting the positive you see it's, it it is with uh, an angle in order to connect it so uh, I will see later okay so now only four last cells so again what I will do is try not to do a short by disconnecting it this is a little tricky because you're near the tabs and everything and it's all metal so be careful careful about the shorts I mean and one okay we disconnect now the negative okay very nice and now I have to do another last cut here and then everything is okay so again I'm starting from the negative side which is the best way not to do a short okay now on the other side of this tab and now I will take another cut here and you see that almost everything is out here okay okay so now all the cells are out and again I don't like to leave it like this maybe I will use it now I will remove it now I'm sure that no short will happen in the cells again although they're almost totally discharged so nothing catastrophic will happen okay so now I have all the connection here remove by the way th these are the balancing tabs so the current here is not significant so it's not a big deal now I just need to remove uh, to put the new cells and connect the plus and the minus and the tabs and there it's all done now I will of course search for a uh, for my cells search for a good tab that can handle the, the 10 amps continuously maybe even more than 10 amps and then connect everything back okay so I have brand new little color cells which are very a strong one 
I've tested the pre-charge to 3.7 volt. This is uh, not a very low, but it's. I think it will be safe. So I'm now just entering the cells. So again, the plus here, and then I have the minus, so it go to the plus here. And now I need to weld these two cells together. So. I will use a nickel strip, just checking the dimension. This is just example how to do it. Now I'm searching for a magnet to catch it. And now I will start from the positive one. I have already set a welder. Okay, let's do it gently. So, four points on each side. And this is the way to go over step by step till everything is soldered. Okay, so I have four four spots and now this part I can I don't know if I can weld it also, although I can also uh, use a soldering iron to to solder it, because again this is not a very high current, but I don't like to do it, I will do it because I don't want to, to do a short on the side of a uh, this negative, so it's a little tricky here how to do it correctly. So maybe I will just use a soldering iron and see if I can do it easily and quickly. You don't want to hit it too much, so just something like this, and that's all. And I think it will be okay. Okay, so one last cells, one cell. You can see I put the magnet, and then I'm using my spot welder. Again, four point on each cell. This is more than enough. Okay. And now again, I have to connect uh, all these tabs. So I've welded them with a the soldering iron and not with the spot welder. I have to put additional two for uh, the wires and the contacts and then I will be able to close everything back and we will test that it is working okay on, a, on the Dyson itself. Again these wires I'm just pulling them and using a soldering iron as you see here I put solder on the tub and here also and then just using a screwdriver while soldering it to catch it in its place 
and that's all so now I will connect just the positive and the negative tab and then we will close everything and test it so now just I have to solder the plus and the minus to the tabs that I've already prepared and this is the last step of course in each step be careful not to short anything and because we are dealing here with soldering and metal and and you have to be careful that's all so this is the minus now I will go to the plus again very careful with what I'm doing here okay now just need to close everything and test it by the way there is a thermocouple that sense the temperature of the cell so I just use a captain tape to catch it better because it's not really uh, on the right side I will also apply the, the isolation that was when I was opening it this is always a good thing to do where is the second one found now it's look nice and now I just close it and I have the plug don't forget to close the plug well and now just the clips now everything is okay you see the LED is blinking it's not charged yet but let's test it anyway okay so I did find some issue one of the cell was uh, 3.5 instead of the others that were were 3.73 or something like this so I just balance it manually as you can see now and now I will disconnect everything and close the battery and check that it is working I think that it is balance more or less okay now so we'll close it now Now we'll put it here and as you can see it is working. So I was using this pot welder that I've upgraded to be a portable so I've added this uh, welder top that I can disassemble so it's ah, you can just pull it like this off okay so it's more portable version and I have added inside uh, batteries so it is not working on outlet and it is more portable to my opinion this way so uh, this is what I'm using hope you enjoy thank you all see you next time and bye